Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm receiving a lady in the show called Ruki Obao. She just released a book called Created and Formed for a Purpose. And through the talk that I will have with her, she will explain to her to us what was the inspiration. So good evening. Good evening. So tell me tell us a little bit about yourself. Ooh, a little bit about myself. Um, well, like you just said, I'm Ruki Obaho, and um, I like to introduce myself really by um, telling people about my life story. Kind of, I call it my CV, mm -hmm. you know, because this, um, your CV is kind of um, a Latin expression of the course of your life, which really means you know, your experience, your life experience. So um, in terms of my life experience, just a summary of my CV is, um, I am, well, I've been married twice, um, divorced twice. I've got two grown up children. I had my first child at 19 and uh, a grandson. Um, the two children of 40, well, are not from the same husband, the same man, <laughs> not from the same fathers, mm -hmm. and not from the men are married either. So, mm -hmm. if you want to add, you can say I've had two baby daddies, so that's four men. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had um, like four very near death experiences, major, yeah, major. I'll come to, I'll come to, I'll come to, I'll come to that, okay. yeah, I'll come to that. Major, I think the first one was when I was three years old. A motorbike accident nearly took off my leg, but um, I don't know. I spent three months in the hospital. Was it was real three four four months, but um, the bone in this leg split into two. But somehow, oh, yeah, that's yeah, it was horrible. At three years, yeah, and, but I only spent three months in the hospital. But I yeah, it's just good. And um, I've been, I've had. A, I was in a motor accident where almost everyone died. Oh. Yeah, almost everyone died and it was really major. I was in a bus, the bus ran into a stationary bus and they, it just split into two. Where was it? This was in Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. Like, yeah, the like, famous like, town of yes, Lagos. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, I, I, I passed out. Woke up later, I think I was in a hurry to go somewhere. It was in the evening. I was like, oh, what's this? You know, I, I had no idea until I just looked around and saw blood everywhere. I saw body parts everywhere. And the only thing I got out of it was a scratch. <laughs> it was just this and that one. And um, yeah, that's one. Came back to London, Had was involved in a fire accident, fire incident, yeah. Major fire incident. I was working in the shop at the time and there was no fire exit. Oh, there was a riot. This was in Brixton. Um, some people just. When was that? Thought, oh God, when was that? 19. Was it 90. I think 95 or 6. You know, the, the famous um, Brixton <laughs> riots. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I sat down. I remember going to because the shop I was in, there was, they had no fire exit went the fire started from the front so we all went to the back and i just sat on the floor thinking oh god so this is how i'm gonna die after all the other oh. accidents and all of that but again god was so merciful to to me the police station was just around the corner fire brigades they mm -hmm. they were there but because of the riot they couldn't get to us the, the smoke it, it, it was it was terrible i didn't think i would make it but then again then there was the other one where i had a blood clot in my lungs Yes, blood clot in my lungs. I was having very, very high blood pressure, extremely high blood pressure. And the, the guy that was looking after me said, you know what, just go to the hospital. Because I started experiencing very sharp pains. And then he said, you know what, nobody with this 
kind of blood pressure she'll be <laughs> walking you'll be walking but he then advised to go to the hospital and they told me when i go to the emergency ward so if you hadn't come he would have just been you know because having blood clots in the lung is one of the silent killers of you know so yeah i didn't take any notice of it until i think about four years ago when someone saw me i think i was crying over something i was miserable something that was so i look at it now and think oh gosh nothing it was worth anything but so one yeah, i think it was a prophet a man of god he came and said you why are you crying over such things haven't i saved your life so many times and i'm thinking okay okay so this isn't a joke <laughs> so they never really wanted to, so know, to say yeah. god was talking to you oh yeah directly directly you know that was really when i took notice of all the incidents so this was a calculated attempt mm -hmm. to um yeah just get rid of me but um and then you now start to wonder why <laughs> you now start to wonder why but um yeah so that kind of summarizes my life it's been a lot of heartbreaks rejection pain and all of that so is that <laughs> what inspired you to write this book oh yes oh yes after my um i think one of the things i say is um uh, when the devil didn't could have found that he couldn't kill me physically the next thing he did was to mess up with my mind and uh, this book is called created and formed for a purpose um and it's really a story about my life all the experiences i've had the good the bad the ugly god just wanted me to put it there it's a story of restoration how god took all of that healed my heart <laughs> you know everything i just said okay you know what Put your story in a book and go and tell tell the whole world about it so um that's a summary of it but if we look at the picture let me just show everyone and just try to show camera. it to which camera yeah to okay camera so that's so 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 that's the the picture kind of says says it all i think there was a prophet in the bible called mm -hmm. jeremiah yes he said the lord came to him a very early at a young age and said you know what before i formed you in your mother's womb I created you for a purpose and basically set you apart you know you know as appointed you as a prophet and i think in those uh, in that statement alone there's just the forming you know formed you for a purpose and set you apart and when you've been set apart it means you don't fit yes. you can fit in and that was really my story i right from an early age i couldn't fit in couldn't fit with anybody people just used to laugh at me and funny enough they laughed at me because the way i look <laughs> why <laughs> if you notice immediately you came here all i've been talking about is my appearance oh how do i look how do i look so there's still that voice in my head you know but people just used to laugh at me oh you're shaped like a coca-cola bottle upside down you've got broad shoulders you've got all of that and this was from an early age so because of that i always had that going back mental that i'm not good enough which guy's gonna want me <laughs> you know yes. you know children are mean I you know mean. so basically I didn't see myself as worth anything and because of that i made it a goal in life to start to go after very handsome men tall handsome mm -hmm. that was my goal in life and that was just for me that was a way to say i'm accepted yes. that validates me you understand if anyone sees me with this cool handsome guy this kind of thing oh she she must be something mm -hmm. funny it sounds very funny now but it's 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 um so yeah even though some of these men were not good enough for me <laughs> were not good enough i knew mm -hmm. i knew there was nothing i'll come out of it but i just you know really tried to get them to love me and it, i did a lot including you whatever i took you know for you for you to love me so i went through because of that one heartbreak after the other major heartbreaks, heartbreaks you know that's how i go from my first marriage into the second marriage mm -hmm. and then after the second marriage oh my god god you know when i separated from my ex-husband that really broke me really 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 broke me because i like i said i've got two children i've got grandson you know but for some reason i got married to this guy i met him in church i couldn't have a child for him and he yes. desperately wanted a child so yes. that was his reason so that kind of broke me so basically what i'm trying to say is that god created me for a purpose or like he creates everybody for a purpose you know formed you and shaped you and then purpose set you apart which really means you you are not meant to fit in you know but me i made it a goal in life to fit in 
but that time when i when my ex-husband left me it was just it looked like that period where god just said you know what Mm, this is not what I planned. <laughs> you know, this is not what I planned for you. And there's another story about um, the same prophet, Jeremiah, mm -hmm. when God said, you know what, go down to the potter's house. Mm -hmm. Go down to the potter's house and watch the potter as he's doing his work on he's a vessel, on, you know, vessel. And the potter, Jeremiah went, he saw the potter, main, you know, molding the vessel. And the vessel got all mad or scared. So, the potter had to like break it, break it or you know, mush it up and then start again. So that's what kind of this picture represents. You can see the potter's hand, you can see the crack, you know, yes. something wrong. So he's like, okay, let me form you back form into back. that original, original mold you know, <laughs> you know, more that I created for you. Yes. So that's what it's called created and formed for a purpose. So this book is really looking, talking about the spiritual formation side of it where god now starts to let's start again you know let's start again let's walk with this mindset mm -hmm. let me walk with your character let's get rid of all the unforgiveness let's get rid of all you know, let go of all the things the anger and all of mm -hmm. that you know so that you then become a vessel fit for his use so he said okay take all your story take it in there and put it in there because put it in this book everything you've been through and how i've worked with you to bring you to this place because there are thousands many other people out there that you know think yes i mean they, i do understand that the, yes. this book is about your life yes. the experience that you have oh, yes. throughout your mm -hmm, life mm -hmm. you're still a young woman yeah yes I, I, even yeah, though you have a grandson but yeah. you're still a young woman yes mm -hmm. so tell us what's your target age i mean what age are you targeting by writing this book oh i oh god i would say everybody as early as you can think because all the thoughts you know they will say the mess of my life from a very 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 young age i've got a friend of mine who saw something like her daughter was experiencing something she thought i said oh take this book go and read three chapters and three the girl chapters. was really blessed by it i've got a 13 year old girl who's read it so and they've really been blessed about it because it's really about finding your identity in christ and not in any man and all of that so the book just speaks to different people at different times women that have been broken like myself even some guys have read it you know and it's like oh this chapter really talked to me a pastor came back and said you know the chapter on letting go that really talked to me so it's really for everybody there's quite a lot in there so many people tend to tell me oh i found myself in this book the book reads you okay yeah. <laughs> so yeah so what, everybody. What, mm. what were some of your fears about the book this book that you've written oh god I tell a lot of secrets in the book. <laughs> I tell a lot. You know, it's really about my life. Just, one, just tell us just one secret. Oh, God. It depends. Oh, gosh, I can't. I can't now, but I'll tell you what. There are a lot of things I did okay. as a child. Okay. I used to sneak out of the house, you know. Girl. <laughs> I used to sneak out of the house. I was in school. I used to sneak from school, come down to my hometown where I live whenever I used to get go to no never used to get home so when my mommy picked the, my mom picked up the book to read i was like oh no don't read it <laughs> you know do not <laughs> you know do not read it and i think even in church setting there are some lies i you know i said in jail so everything every secret is in there for my mom i said mom don't read it but when she called me and said you know i'm just in the last two chapters i'm like okay and you're still talking to me <laughs> and she said why not you know it's just god's grace and everything so that really blessed me that she could you know she could read it and um yeah it's just telling your life story how when, would people when your mother did read it you see came back to you to say you she didn't that's what i'm saying are you sure she, seriously she didn't she laughs about, about it she's about like it. Oh, it's good okay. no she that's did good, it good, because she cried it. yes she read it she cried the time she sent me messages and just like who told you you don't look good you have you're lovely you're my beautiful baby you are this you are that and there are sometimes so oh, you know she's trying to give her own explanation for why that happened and i'm just like you know what this is the bit god's one to concentrate and i'll tell you she didn't just stop there my book launch is coming very soon she's been taking the flyers and giving to you know distributing it and my mom is very reserved mm -hmm. she's one of those people where 
hide your business in the house you know but for her to go around and you know share it sell the books to her friends you know that it's just god's mm. grace and i mean from the anointing on the book so you talking about the book the book clouds can you tell our viewers where and when oh gosh it's um at spurgeon's college in south norwood it's um on the 21st of march and um at what time don't forget to tell three time. to six three, three to six. six yeah three to six in the evening i'm going to have a panel of um readers people that have read the book to really just sit down and say how the book is impacted impacted and so there's going to be questions and answers so just want to give you like one hour so that everyone gets a feel for what's in the in in the book so yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but i may ask you because we still not have enough time to to talk more about it but if you can look at this camera and just send a message to anyone who's looking at you now oh okay so um yes the you know when they say my life is an open book mm -hmm. this book is about my life and it's just everything um i've ever gone through and some more a lot of people have read it and say this book reads you because they, they see their life their life this is my story it tells a lot of stories so you're bound to see yourself in that in 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 my story there's a portion of the bible that says god takes all things all things work together for those who love the lord and who are called according to the purpose everything the good the bad and the ugly god takes everything and uses it for your purpose so if you've have a life like mine <laughs> been through hard times rejection pain um oh you name it loss bereavement because i lost my brother while i was going through all that sickness everything and you get to that place where you're thinking what am i you know what am i put on this head for you've got low self-esteem like myself and think i can never be of any good nobody you know i'm no good mm -mm. why is my life so hard god will take everything everything is just working together for your purpose and you can see how god there's a thing that says god takes your mess and turns it into a message that's this book so yeah i would advise you to get a copy you will not regret it yes you say you are advising people to, to get, get a copy so yes. where can they where find, can they where find can they a copy it? it's on amazon everywhere on amazon it's on my website www.createdandformedforapurpose.com so on my website you see a link of where you can get it um you can actually get it on my website uh it's it's in some places in my country nigeria and um yeah if you go on my website you will see all the details of how you can get it so what i can say is thank you for welcoming us to your house thank you so any last word so we can say goodbye to our viewers ah uh, i just say um for everyone that's going to get the book it's a privilege having someone to you know come into my life and share my life and i just pray god blesses you and i pray god speaks to you and um make you realize that you were created and formed for a purpose and um, i just pray that after reading this you'll be able to find what it is that god has created or how you can use your own story to bless somebody else yep thank you very much mm -hmm. and uh what i can say is thank you very much for welcoming us thank to your house you. and maybe another day yeah thank you thank you so we just spoken i just spoken to Kruki, who is launching a book on saturday and if you have time you can come and join us because we'll be there to do a report about the book launch and uh thank you and see you next time on the same screen bye bye